The unprecedented bushfires in Australia earlier this year claimed more than 200 lives. Exceedingly high temperatures and the extraordinary speed at which the flames travelled overwhelmed firefighters. But this Danish inventor is trying to convince the authorities in Australia and other fire-prone regions that such tragedies can be prevented. For the test, one model house was sprayed with retardant, the other was not. It will work on, on fabrics, uh, wood, uh, everything, because uh, now the oxygen can't go into uh, the material anymore. So then that's actually the reason why it, uh, there will not be a fire. The Danish fire service is keen to examine the retardant's efficiency and soak the test site in petrol. Among those also taking a keen interest, Australia's ambassador to Denmark. The head of Denmark's Fire Institute was on hand to ensure that the test was independently monitored. They used a fan to replicate gale force winds that accompany genuine wildfires, but the test house survived. Well, it's, it's quite impressive um, to see the house is still standing with only minimal damage. And uh, if that were in real life size and you were a house owner, I think it would be very encouraging. We need to see it in a larger scale before we know whether it will be able to, to handle a bushfire in Australia where you have very high temperatures, very low uh, humidity. During a real disaster like this one at Olympia in Greece, Burnblock's inventor says the retardant will be sprayed on endangered areas to enable firefighters to get close to the front line and bring flames under control. The results of this test are self-evident. This product is attracting an awful lot of attention from chemical companies around the world which make traditional fire retardants. They want to know what makes it work. Now the ingredients are in the public domain because of the patent but the formula is a closely guarded secret. This is the aftermath of Greece's terrible summer of 2007, in which 6% of the country's foliage was burned and 70 people died. More stringent tests will now be carried out to see whether the Danish invention will live up to its promise. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Copenhagen.